So this is a desmetosine, very very deep corneal ulcer. This ulcer is ready to pop. I've already taken the corneal incisions as you can see around the graft. But then if you can see there is a superficial corneal ulcer, non-healing superficial corneal ulcer. But what we are covering today is we are going to perform a surgery and perform a grafting uh, procedure on that uh, desmetosine. So that is a very very deep uh, and nasty looking desmetosine. What I'm doing is separating uh, the cornea. So this is half thickness, it's not a full thickness corneal tissue, it's half thickness. And this half thickness corneal tissue is, is going to help us to cover that desmetoseal. And with the dog's own cornea, the rejection doesn't happen. Can you see that it's, it's basically slicing through that thickness of the desmetoseal. Very nicely it is coming along the graft. So this type of graft is called as uh, sliding corneal graft or corneoconjunctival transposition graft. What that means is we are going to use uh, the corneal portion which is below the ulcer and towards the conjunctiva. And then we can't just slide that portion of the cornea forward. So we have to basically slide it along with his blood supplies, along with the conjunctiva. This is where I've separated the corneal portion of the graft. After slicing through that cornea, it's half thickness, but the desmetoseal is still, you can see that big hole right there. Fortunately, it's not full thickness. So the success rate for uh, this type of grafting before the cornea ruptures is, is very high. This is separating the conjunctival portion of the graft. So what is being cut right now is limbus. Limbus is basically a junction between cornea or sclera. That is a thick portion. That, that's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful junction right there, which does not really allow the blood vessels to come in unless there is injury. Because there was an injury, uh, the limbus was now allowing blood vessels on the surface of the cornea. So the limbus has been separated and now, okay, perfect. So see, it's basically going to cover that hole. Some amount of conjunctiva will come along with it, but that conjunctiva, even though it's looking pink right now, it will, it will become transparent. After about a month or two months, nobody will be able to tell a difference between this eye and the other one. Bad portion has been cut. The, the section where there was a corneal ulcer that has been cut. And now this section uh, of the cornea, which is the healthy cornea, which we have slid uh, forward, will be stitched to the cornea using 10-0 uh, suture material.